Hi guys, welcome back to The Workout Show on Process TV with me, Rob Riches. Now, on many of the past shows, we're focusing on multiple pieces of equipment to get a full workout in. But sometimes we get down the gym often after a day's work and find it's packed full of people all using the machine that we want to get on. So what can we do when that happens? Well, today I'm gonna to share with you four great upper body exercises and all you need is really a bench. Now, often we use the bench for a decline flat and incline, but rarely do we do incline facing downwards, supinated. So these four exercises are all going to be done facing down. First exercise is to start on one of the bigger muscle groups, the back. And for this, I've got two dumbbells resting in front of me. And to vary it up a bit, we're going to use both dumbbells, free weights, bands, and just a pole that most people use to stretch on. So to work the back, we're going to start off by doing some X flies. Most people think this is shoulders, and it is if we let the shoulders work. But on this one, I'm really focusing on squeezing my back together, making sure my chest is kept elevated up. Therefore, I'm not hunching over and letting my shoulders do most of the work. From there, aiming for about 12 repetitions on each one. And for this particular workout, I'm going to do it in a circuit, moving from one exercise straight on to the next. So from there, we're going to go more into a row. I'm going to take a neutral grip, overhand grip, palms facing back, bringing it all the way up towards my chin, keeping my elbows in line with the bar. Already I can feel my back starting to pump full of blood. As this is a very isolated movement, therefore we're not going to be rocking back and forth like we were if we were doing the big compound heavy lifts. Now this one's an interesting one. It's basically just a broom handle. We can do this one at home, in the gym, basically anywhere. We don't need that much weight. It's more the movement that really works the muscle. Take a nice wide grip. Keep the head up, raise the bar right up over our head, pause. Breathe in on the way back down. So we exhale, keep the arms up, see it start to shake as we start to wear out the muscle, energy within, and then Now, that one may not seem that difficult, but it's actually one of the hardest exercises out of the four. Of the fourth one, we're going to turn the bench around. And for this, we need something that we can lock in and attach the band to. So what I have here is an elasticated band. You can get this from any good sports shop or direct from the process website. Now, for the fourth exercise, all we need is something like this elasticated bands. What I've done is just tied a knot in the middle there to double up the resistance. So this particular exercise is a great one for the back of the arms. Turn the bench around so that we have access to basically a vertical pole about two feet, two to three feet away from the bench. I'm going to get back into our supinated position and notice I keep the heels up to keep stabilized on the bench. Triceps then Keep the arms, upper arms, at a right angle to the floor. And then I've got my hands lightly open, really forcing the triceps to work. So I extend the arm, lengthening and shortening the tricep. This is a great exercise to really develop and work on that horseshoe effect for the back of the arm. few extra reps. We're going to aim for about 15 to 20 because of the lack of resistance. And then with dumbbells and free weights, we're going to aim for about 10 to 12 reps. Whew. 
And after all of that, if somebody is still on the next piece of equipment that you're aiming to get on, we'll simply start over again and increase the weight. So it's a great workout for upper body, and especially if we're in the gym looking to really train the upper body, it's also a great warm up before we move on to the bigger, heavier compound lifts. Join me next time on more workout shows and see all past shows on Process Nutrition on their YouTube channel. I'm Bob Richards. Until then, get creative in and out of the gym. Take care.